In today's video, we're going to show you how to remove the suspension rods from your top load washer. So to remove your suspension rods, you're going to want to lift the top of your machine. Each machine is a little different how the top attaches. In this one, typically there's screws in the back that get removed and the top slides forward, releases from two little catches in the front and then tips up. Other machines are released just by simply uh, with a putty knife being put in between the cabinet and the top, pressed in, and that'll release them, and then they just swing up. Depending on the machine you have, will depend on what you have to do in order to raise that top. On this one, we've got it set up so that I can remove this top completely in order for us to be able to show you exactly how you're going to get at those suspension rods once the top is out of the way. So I'm just going to lift the top right now, and like I say, I've got everything disconnected. But to remove them, it's very easy to do. One thing you'll want to just take a look at is look for your air dome hose or your pressure hose. It'll be a clear white or clear plastic line. Some manufacturers will have that clipped to the nearby suspension rod, either with a piece of tape or Velcro or even a plastic clip. If it is, you'll just want to make sure you unclip that hose and set it to one side so that you don't damage it when you remove the suspension rod. But just be sure when you put the rod back in that you put that hose and re-secure it back to that suspension rod. But to remove the suspension rod, it's very easy. You're just going to push your tub over a little bit. You're going to just reach down and grab that suspension rod with your hand. Ease it out of the slot. And then just pull it forward. And as you take it out of there, you're going to lose that suspension ability so the tub's going to want to drop and then you'll just continue to push it down out of the hole and take the rod out. So you can see your suspension rod is fairly straightforward. It has a bushing on the top and a bushing on the bottom. And the bottom bushing again is sitting on that spring and that's what gives that tub the flexibility. So that's how easy it is to remove your suspension rod.